and it is steam day once again. Happy steam day everybody. Happy steam day. November 8th. It's steam day. As in innovate or innovate. And we have two Project Empty Squared products to review today. We have the basic Ember Evergreen doll and she is so pretty. Yeah, we were so excited to find her at Target. So, look at your local Target. She might be there along with her buddies, Devin, Adrian, and Michaela, and Cameron, and Bryden, but we don't have those three yet. We don't have those, but we brought out our ones that we do have. And then we found this really cool experiment in the art category. And it's, they call it science and art on the back, but right. it's art. Right, but it's the first thing that's like in the art, art category, category specifically. So, so it's pretty cool. Exciting. And it's called the Paint Folio, and it's... H2O painting. They call it H2O like like watercolors. In other words, watercolors. watercolors. Yeah. H2O painting. And it's pretty cool. So um, there are some really cool give posters. Give a look at the in inside here. here. You can paint ten posters in here. They have ten posters, and it shows you the color wheel, the color theory. Gives you a lot of info about info mixing colors. Info about mixing colors, different techniques you can use, and then you can experiment with the colors. Plus. Color swatches, etc. And look at this! And then, look at that! You can paint. This is so cool. Pictures of the girls. I'm gonna like spend a lot of time on this and then put it on my wall because I do not have an MC Squared poster. Yeah, that one's really pretty. And so there's another one that I might even like more than that, but there's like some really cool little like. I'm gonna do this one today. This one's cool too. Do that one on camera just to practice with. And there's or maybe and that one. Cool. Really oh, that cool. one's fun. And then there's dream catchers. The dream catchers are pretty. There's another one of the girls. And I love this. It says, science is my superpower. That's really cool. I like that one. Too. And I love how they're high-fiving in the back. Oh, that's so cute. Love it. And there's another smart as a new cool. So that one's go your own way. That's the design on uh, Hoverboard Cameron's shirt. That is. You're right. <laughs> so it's really cute. So there's a lot of fun designs you can do. And you get your paints up here. And it comes with a brush and a little crayon. And the crayon is for coloring the places that you don't want to have color and it will repel the paint. It's pretty cool. Right. All right. And this is Ember. Ember's, I'll show you the back, I'll read the back of Ember's box. Okay. It has a picture of the prototype of her and it says, I'm Ember Evergreen. I grew up on a popcorn farm so I know what's popping y'all. A popcorn farm. Love it. Okay. Plants are my passion. <laughs> I must say, my green thumb has been known to transform a desert into a jungle with just one touch and a little southern know-how. You could say I'm a force of nature. All right. And her special talents are science and math, it says. And of course, she's like the gardener. gardener type. And there's the back of her box with her prototype, which looks very different from her doll. And here's all the rest of the girls in the line and we've got um, Devin and Adri here too. All right, so. Yeah, they're very pretty. I love this line so far. Yeah, this line is a really pretty basic line. Okay, so, so first we should maybe open the doll and look yeah, at her. Let's take a look at the doll. And then we'll do some painting. All right, we'll be right back. We're back and Ember is out of the box and she is fabulous. She is so pretty. She has a little factory hairdo going. I didn't even realize how pretty it was. Good braid across the back. She has like a French braid across pretty. the back of her hair. Pretty. Her hair is like waved, but it is the good hair. So it's stylable and soft. It does. It feels soft. And she's got her little feather earrings, which I think are gorgeous. I, I love it. I think those are really cute too. I like those. I, I have like some earrings that I share throughout my dolls because there's only a few that have earrings. It's kind of interesting. Of the MC Squared. If is, you yeah. have a, a bunch of MC Squared, like. Yeah, not all of them have pierced Lay them out and then <laughs> you see. Yeah. And then there's her beautiful eyes and her freckles. And she's not one of the girls to like. She doesn't have like bright pink lips. She has like the more subtler pink lips. She does. She has a really pretty, really pretty face. I like her freckles. So cute. And she's got her little daisy dress and her little belt mm -hmm. and socks, little striped pink stocks, stocks, socks. socks, and 
her dirty boots, which I think is so cute. They made them look like she was out working in the field yeah. or in the garden. Her boots look worn, so that's kind of interesting. She's very pretty. I like her a lot. Yes, I like her. We have the deluxe ember also, and uh, I think I like this one. I think she's like the doll wise. The doll she's wise, better. I think she's prettier than the deluxe. Mm -hmm. I like her a lot. So that's our collection so far from the basic line. From this basic from line. From this basic line. Um, she also came with this little brush, but these are pretty much. They all, average. They all come with that little brush. <laughs> but they're not always the same color. That's so. true. A lot of different colors. All right, so the next thing we're going to do now is open is up our paint paints. set, and we need to get some newspaper laid out. Yeah, we've got to lay out our stuff. And get some water for our watercolors. We'll be right back. So we're doing a little MC squared painting now. Start getting so. things a little bit wet here and see what we can do. I'm just going to try a color with a little tiny bit of water here and see what I can do. Ooh! Oh, that makes a pretty pink. Oh, I like this. It's turned out good. So basically, it tells you like if you use more water, it's going to be more diluted and less color. If you use less water, it's going to be brighter. Brighter, yeah. I just used a little bit of water. And then you can always blend colors too. Oh, that's looking nice. Nice light pink. Just mix a little bit of Adding blue a little in. blend here. How do you think it looks? Doing a bit of a blend, let's see. Looks more magenta. <laughs> oh yeah, now you've changed the color a bit. That's cool. I like it. And so now I'm going to rinse it even more, dry it a little bit, and then just go back to pink. So now I'm going to do a little bit of yellow. Good. Oh, I like the yellow on the light bulb. That's pretty. I'm not gonna mix that at all. That looks perfect uh, right yeah, now. Yeah, I like the color. That's a nice color for the light bulb. I was gonna try to put a little orange in, but I like how it looks. I like it. Looks great. So it's coming along pretty good here. <laughs> yes. Thank you guys so much for watching. It looks really great, and we'll show the finished picture at the end of the video. So be sure to keep watching till the end and check that out. And I hope that y'all are celebrating STEAM Day. Yes. By doing something fun. Science, technology, science, engin technology, technology, engineering, art, and math. Art and math. So. Very good. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Happy STEAM Day.